Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to calculate the long-term capital gain tax. Uh, you can see here's the uh, example, say Chris, age 35, a single annual salary from his job is $32,000. Chris likes investing in the stocks. He is currently holding 100 shares of Amazon stock, which he bought on the March 12, 2020 for one thousand uh one thousand six hundred eighty dollar per share. Today, uh on May the seventh, twenty twenty one, he sold the one hundred shares of Amazon for three thousand three hundred dollar per share. So, given this information, then we can see the balance of his Amazon stock on March twelve, twenty twenty is $168,000. So the balance on the May 7th, uh, 2021 is $330,000. So the total capital gain uh, you can calculate is $162,000. And this is long-term capital gain. Given this holding period is greater than one year, so then those gains are identified as long-term capital gain. Let's put the information together. Chris single filer taxable income is uh, 19450 This is from the job. Uh, is equal to his salary, then minus standard deduction. This is before the Amazon capital gain. So if you add the uh, long-term capital gain, and um, with the taxable income from job for then give you the total taxable income amount. Once you have this taxable income amount, you can use the long-term capital gain rate. There are three tax brackets for the long-term capital gain. 0%, 15%, and 20%. Uh, what does this mean? Say if your taxable income is below uh, 40400 then your long-term capital gain is taxed at zero or percent. If your long-term cap, if your taxable income is between these, your long-term capital gain will be taxed at 15 percent. So, uh, similarly for 20 percent is if your long-term in taxable income is greater than this, your long-term capital gain will be taxed at 20%. So for Chris's situation is, uh, what's the amount is taxed at 0%? So you can see his uh, salary amount, taxable amount from salary is this much. So if you, you use the uh, top ceiling is 40 uh, 400 minus this salary taxable amount give you the long-term capital gain. Those amount are taxed at zero. So the rest of the capital gain is taxed at 15%. So this amount you can simply can get this use the total taxable amount minus the ceiling of the 0% rate give you the same number. So those amount are taxed at 15%. So then you can calculate your long-term capital gain tax is 21,158. So if you add to the, the income tax from the salary, then it will give you 22,298. So what what type of forms you use to report your long-term capital gain to IRS? So first of all, you will receive a 1099B from your brokerage firm, such as TD Ameritrade. Then once you have 1099B, they will tell you which box to fill on the form 8949. Then once you done 8949, you uh, filled out the Schedule D, after Schedule D, you put on, on the form your 1040. 